Hello again, this is Steve here from CelterHelper.com and this time I've got another great interview with a Celter tutor and author. This time Emma Jones, author of the book you might have heard of, The Ultimate Guide to the Celter, and also a Celter tutor of many years. So we sat down on Skype and we had a long chat about lots of different things, about her tips for the course, different resources she'd recommend, different things about her book that she co-authored with Amanda Mamani, who's also her colleague and a CELTA tutor, and lots of other things inside. Um, we kept it quite brief. There's lots of information packed into a fairly short time. The video itself is about 20 minutes, so it should be good for most people. As always, anything mentioned in the video are in the links down below and you should be able to find them there. Also, if you want to subscribe to the channel, hit the subscribe button to get notified of more videos and content like this. Leave any questions you have in the comments below. And also, if you haven't already, check out the free ebook that I've got on the site for 15 mistakes to avoid when preparing for a CELTA course. Now, this is something I've written a long time ago, but if you haven't got it already, check it out in the links below and get a copy sent to you by email today. So hope that's useful and uh, let's get started with the video and enjoy. Oh, and PS, one last thing I almost forgot to say, um, the video jumps around a little bit because it was Skype and it was live, um, but it does come good after the first couple of minutes. So if you just bear with it, it sorts itself out and it becomes much clearer after a couple of minutes, but the audio is perfect throughout. So just stay with it and you'll get the most from it. Okay, so thanks again and uh, enjoy. Okay, hello Emma. Um, Hi. Thank you for joining us this evening. Yeah, you're uh, welcome. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's great to have you on here. And I, as usual, I'd like, is it possible if you could tell us a bit about yourself and your background? Yeah, sure. Um, I won't bore you with the early, the early years, um, but I think probably most interesting is how I got into um, the TEFL world. Um, I was working in the pharmaceutical industry in Germany for quite a few years, and it just got to the stage where colleagues were constantly asking me, why is this correct in English? Why is this wrong in English? And of course, I couldn't tell them anything. I had no idea. So then I started looking into the English language itself. My German was by then not bad, so I sort of understood how to learn a language. Um, and then I, I just took it from there, decided I was going to do a CELTA certificate. Oh, okay. um, luckily, voluntary redundancy was available, so I took the money and ran. Um, went back to uh, England and did the CELTA certificate in Newcastle, at International House. Um, got into teaching immediately as soon as the course finished i i got a job in manchester um was very lucky to mm -hmm. then um that the institute i was working for they um sponsored me to do the trinity diploma so trinity college london diploma um as soon as i got that then i decided it was time to come back to germany and uh, start teaching as planned uh, yeah two or three years wow. earlier so since then, I think we've been in Munich now for 15 wow. years, um, and I've been running the Munich CELTA courses since 2011. Brilliant. Okay, great. So yeah. obviously it's a long time ago, but um, if you think back to when you were a student on the CELTA course, what do you think was the most valuable yeah. part of it for you? Uh, definitely the teaching practice. Um that just just being able to like learning something in the morning in an input session and being able to almost immediately put it into practice i think that was that was just so valuable that you you know your tutors are telling you something and then you're able to really try it out almost immediately um i also really enjoyed the written assignments i didn't think i would right. before the course i thought that was going to be the worst part of it i had no academic background um, but I really, really enjoyed doing the written assignments, despite the fact that um, actually I was having to go to the restaurant across the road from my accommodation to write my written assignments because we didn't have any electricity. <laughs> not but that's not an story. ideal I, setup. I don't, but... <laughs> really not, really not. Middle of winter, no electricity, no heating, no laptop because, yeah, I mean, it wasn't, wasn't quite the dark right. ages, but it was quite a long time ago. So handwritten, written assignments. But I really, really, like I said, I really enjoyed doing the assignments. And um, 
I think the most interesting assignment I found was the focus on the learner. Um, I, I focused on a Chinese student, and of course, you know, my my language abilities were French and German. I'd yeah. never thought about um, this completely foreign language, uh, Chinese, um, which later stood me in good stead because when I got to Manchester, then I was teaching Chinese students, so I felt well equipped um, straight after right. the course. So, yeah. Teaching practice and written assignments. Yeah, definitely it's funny good. you say that because actually prior to doing the CELTA, I did um, sort of a year long module in uh, well, it was called TESOL at university. And uh, right. one of the things we had to do was write about a learner. And I did one about a Japanese right. student. And it blew my mind how different okay. the sentence structure was. I just couldn't yeah. get my head around it. Yeah. So, yeah. It, it's, we, well, we, we don't even think no. about it, do we? It's just I to mean, think every. Yeah, and every thing. sentence they have to structure is just, you know, it's it's completely different. It's it's a good, definitely yeah. good experience. Yeah. yeah. Great. Okay. Yeah. Um, I wasn't expecting you to say the assignments. I must say, I don't think many people have said that. Well, I wasn't. I wasn't expecting it, but I really, yeah, no, I really okay. enjoyed it. And um, it's amazing, you know, um, how many people yeah. dread the assignments, but then when they hand them in afterwards, they they say, actually, I got a lot yeah. out of that. It's, it's not just a part of the course that you have to do. It's actually a valuable yeah, part. Yeah, very I think. transferable as well to future prof teaching. Yeah. And great yeah. okay um uh so i said another one again reflecting or well kind of if you could do the celta course again is there anything you would do differently if so why oh um hmm. i think probably i mean knowing myself i'm very very bad at being what i believed to be told off right. so feedback for me was really difficult um it wasn't that i was being told off at all it was just somebody might be you know giving me feedback yeah. on a lesson that um, telling me that it didn't go quite as i maybe thought it did um but in the, in the same vein i'm very bad at taking um praise and compliments so i found the feedback sessions to be really difficult to to handle um yeah but yeah no, I, I know yeah you mean because it I think, I, think what trying, I think the important thing now and knowing what i know now um i would embrace the feedback and i wish i had yeah. embraced it um because i think that is a, a major part of I, the course i think a lot of the the tutors or trainers they give quite a lot of it's the feedback's quite balanced isn't it they do provide a lot of positive yes. feedback, which people don't perhaps yes. realize yeah Absolutely, and I like I said, it wasn't just the criticism; it was also the the um, the praise. Because I think it's it's like um, you're learning from what you're doing well, as well as learning from what you're doing yeah. not so well. Um, and I think I just wasn't reacting to any of the feedback, um, certainly in the early I think stages. That, of that's course. really quite um, daunting for a lot of people, isn't it? Because they're taking on lots of this new information, standing up in front of a group of yeah. students, often for the first time, and then expected to improve yeah. immediately. On what yeah. yeah their tutor yeah. says so interesting yeah. yeah okay um now then moving on to your current role as a celta trainer or tutor um what do you think what would you say is the most common mistake you see celta trainees or students make um i think probably that well what i find most yeah. frustrating um from the trainees is when they're not they're clearly not making notes in in preparation right. sessions so we have written assignment preparation sessions or lesson planning preparation and they're just not making notes and i know that they think well it's obvious but they go home and then it's not so obvious and had they have taken notes they wouldn't be <laughs> sending me a message at midnight <laughs> saying what did you mean by um so i think that that's the thing i find probably most frustrating also, perhaps, um, and especially on the intensive courses where trainees, um, they spend too much time on the less important things, like trying to look for the best visual for their warmer. I mean, it doesn't matter if you've got a fantastic picture. The warmer is going to last a maximum of five minutes out of your, well, I don't know, 60-minute lesson. Um, so they, they spend too much time on the 
yeah, the the yeah. finer points and not enough on the the crux okay, of the lesson. So yeah, sort of missing the the focus really and worrying about aesthetics yeah. and things like that. Exactly. Very interesting. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Great. Um, and again, continuing in a similar vein, what would you what advice would you give to someone who is starting a CELTA course in the next few days? Mm -hmm. good <laughs> yeah. luck um, I, th I think the biggest the, the biggest um, point is is just it, it's organizational skills a lot of it is just being well organized you can handle CELTA very easily if you know what you've got to do and when you've got to do it by um, so having some sort of structure in place and knowing knowing how to organize your time um, the other thing I would suggest probably is is getting familiar with CELTA terminology. Mm. Um, I mean, we use it from the very beginning. We're talking about TTT, ICQ, yeah. CCQs. Um, and of course, CELTA tutors have been using this language for so long that they forget that you don't know it. Um, but yeah, that, that would help. Just familiarize yourself with all the acronyms that are out there. Yeah. Flying and is around. there any sort of... Well, are there any specific resources online you would suggest for that? Or um, I mean, I think the, the... Um, there's a um, in terms of terminology, there's actually a good one from um, that was originally written. It's a glossary of terminology from the TKT. Okay. Um, I'm not sure if it's still online. I, I would imagine it still is. Um, if not, I I've still got a copy of it, so um, I could probably supply it oh, if anybody needed good. it. Um, but that that's got quite a good a good glossary of a lot of the terminology. Yeah, because again, that can just really get people, can't it? When they're trying to get, they're trying to take on so much information, and then yeah, the terminology can. And then you're basically learning a new language yeah, again with all this meta terminology, language, isn't it? That's yeah, and you. Yeah. I know what yeah. you mean because that now it feels second nature, but when you're first coming into it, it can all feel a yeah. bit. Oof, hang on. <laughs> yeah. What yeah. are they on about? <laughs> okay. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Oh, definitely some food for thought there. Um, okay, then. Um, also, you have written a book with, is it Amanda Momeni? Uh, yeah. Momeni, um, yeah. It's yeah. called The Ultimate Guide to the Celta. Could you tell us a yeah, the ultimate guide. Could you tell us a bit about yeah. the book and the inspiration for it and how it will help and so on? Sure. Yeah. Um, initially, so Amanda and I have been um, running the Munich Volkshochschule Celta for the last eight years, um, and we we found that trainees were having the same problems all the time. So initially, we decided we were going to write a handbook for our trainees. So anybody who applied for our course, we would give them this handbook. Um, but then I went off to a seminar run by the Guardian in London um, about self-publishing. So I came back to Amanda and said, why don't we just write it for the world, yeah. <laughs> so to speak, and self-publish. So we were able to write a book that we could then publish ourselves um, and just see where it went. Um, so, yeah, it's called The Ultimate Guide to CELTA. Um, it's about, or what we've basically done is we've, we've written it um, where we follow four fictitious mm. trainees um, mm. and we get them from the application process all the way to the end of the course, the final day, and actually five years later, we find out what they're doing. Um, full of yeah, tips, um, advice, guidance. It's full of um, tips, advice. Um, it also has the uh, the acronyms that we talked about earlier. There's a glossary of those in yeah. the back of the book. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, it's a it's a light-hearted look and preparation for the CELTA course. Mm. Um, we've just recently released a, a second edition. Um, it became quite clear that we'd missed out on the fact that we needed a non-native speaker as one of right. our fictitious yeah. characters. Um, yeah. So we've updated it with a non-native speaker um, and also added um, QR codes linking to our blog, which we sort of keep updated um, with more articles. Um, reflections on CELTA courses, how to handle the course. Um, yeah, lots of advice and guidance on the blog as okay, well. Great. So, so right. yeah, it's it's been doing really well. I'm really pleased with the book. I mean, uh, self-publishing, there's there's very little 
um, money up front or anything, and when we never ever wrote it to, yeah. to make money, and we're definitely not making yeah. much money, but it does pay for us to go to Aya Tethel or um, other conferences occasionally. And, and so, it helps. Yeah, it it still helps, helps a lot of people in the process, doesn't it? So it's... Yeah. Uh, hopefully and I, I mean feedback has been very that's good great. so uh, that's all we can I, ask for i haven't actually got a copy i've seen like a sample of it and i'm gonna have to check it out in more detail after this now speaking to you <laughs> but yeah no I, I saw the illustrations and the light-hearted approach that would look really nice so i'm definitely gonna have to check it out yeah um yeah no, is it available in hard copy or is it uh yeah it's so it's self-publishing is then through yeah. amazon um, so on all Amazons all over the world, um, it's available um, in both hard and Kindle so version. Amazon, is it available on any, any other platforms or just Amazon for now? Uh, no, because it's because the self-publishing um, is yeah. Amazon. Okay, okay, great. So I, yeah, I'll definitely put a link to that below. Then um, great, so people yeah. can find that easily. Brilliant. Yeah. Um, great. Yeah. No. It's, Definitely, I've heard a lot of people actually talking about it online. I do see it recommended quite regularly, so that you know speaks for itself. And I think... Yeah, no, that's. I mean, that's all we really wanted is that is that is if we can help yeah. other trainees, um, because I mean, CELTA, it, it it's not an easy course. Um, the the pass rate is very high, but that's because the application process is very, um, yeah, very careful to ensure that everybody who takes a place on the course is very likely to pass it but it's not without its difficulties as yeah. you know i actually saw your um statistic on the blurb for the book i think was it 99 percent pass rate i found that yeah that's right yeah yeah i found that pretty yeah. amazing but then now in light yeah. of what you've just said it's the the interview yeah. and the application process that is exactly i mean as a as a as a um Stelta center we have to show cambridge that we um any app, any people that we take on the course have a very good chance of passing it. So if we do have a fail candidate, um, we have to show that they didn't show that they looked like a, po a possible fail before the course. Um, so it is a very, very yeah. strict um, yeah, process. Yeah, Cambridge keeps things very rigorous because they've got such a big reputation yeah. and they want... Absolutely. But also, I mean, it's a lot yeah. of money. I, I wouldn't want to take somebody's money off them if I knew that they weren't going to get anything out of it. Yeah, absolutely. Ethically, it's just not right, is it? It's so yeah. well, that's good no. to know, you know, that this that's that's the screening process that works, isn't it? So Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Um yeah. I suppose then just to round off really one last question. Um as far as teaching practice goes on the course or and beyond, what books yeah. or items would you recommend for CELTA students before starting or resources or uh, um, Obviously, the ultimate guide I mean, to Celta. <laughs> the ultimate guide to Celta should be in everybody's yeah. back pocket. Well, it doesn't fit in the back pocket, but yeah. in the bag. Um, I think. I mean, I find that as I've gone through the years, I carry less and less with me. Um, but um, there's, I think that a couple of things that I always have are magnets and dice, because um, you can always create a lesson out of magnets and dice. Um, the I think probably the most important thing that that trainees should should find out before they start their CELTA course um, would be uh, find out what level they're teaching and then familiarize themselves with what those level of learners can and can't do within that level. So if they're teaching um, pre intermediate students or A two students, then they should have an idea of what they can or can't do already at that level. Um, a book I would recommend um, that I go to quite regularly is Five Minute Activities from by yeah, Penny Err. The one. Um, I think that's a really useful one. Lots of great activities in there, practicing all sorts of things in the classroom. Yeah, and that one's nice and small, um, so if people are travelling as well, it's very portable, isn't it? Yeah. Just... Yeah. Absolutely. Exactly. Um, the other thing I think, um, and I learned this one from Amanda actually. Um, rubber bands okay. are very useful uh, if you want to create pairs you've all of a sudden decided you want to create new pairs rubber bands um, that have been cut and they're now pe like pieces of string are very good for creating new pairs okay oh wow yeah 
you know that? <laughs> not one of <laughs> Oh. <laughs> if, if everybody takes one end then they end up with the partner on the other end it's very clever <laughs> oh, brilliant okay so all our trainees do that i know that when amanda's been um when amanda has been their tutor because then all the trainees are pairing with so rubber bands them off around the world and the rubber band the gospel of the That's rubber right. band spread <laughs> That's it. Oh, brilliant okay Great. Well, I'll, yeah, I'll yeah. put some links for people below in the description. And um, right. yeah, is there anything else you want to add or any things to, to we've missed? Um, no, I don't think so. I mean, anybody who's watching this just about to start CELTA, good luck. Keep your head down. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and get on okay. with it. Great. Well, uh, I'll wrap up there. So thank you very much for your time. That was really useful Thank you. i know all the audience will get a lot of well useful tips and info from that so much appreciated good yeah thank thanks you very much bye-bye thanks bye okay so there you go guys i hope you enjoyed that and got loads from it i know i really enjoyed it and so thank you to emma for coming on and giving us lots of insight um as always and as mentioned at the start all links are down below so check them out you might need to click the show more button to get more if you want more videos like this and be notified of them click the bell icon remember to check out seltahelper.com and have a search around for anything you need also check out the links to emma and amanda's book um, they've recently sent me a copy since doing the video so i'm going to check that out which is really kind of them i'll uh, follow up with another review and video of that as soon as i can and uh, yeah check back for it Remember, check out Celta Helper on Facebook, so facebook.com forward slash Celta Helper. Also on other platforms like Reddit, Instagram, and LinkedIn. Did I say Instagram? Wait, I need to come back on that one. But anyway, and yeah, also remember to check out your free ebook if you haven't already in the link below to help you prefer, prepare for your Celta course. Whoa, pronunciation's going, so it's time for me to go. So thanks again, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.